Radiological hazards. When someone mentions the word radiation, we might think of the mushroom cloud that is the result of a nuclear explosion, uh, the microwaves in our microwave oven, the radio waves in our cell phones, or maybe an x-ray for a fractured foot. Broadly speaking, radiation includes all of these things. We are exposed to radiation every day, from the food we eat, to the air that surrounds us, and to the sun that shines down on us. While radiation has always been a part of the universe we live in, at high levels, it is hazardous. Radiation can be divided into two types, non-ionizing radiation and ionizing radiation. We are exposed to non-ionizing sources of radiation every day. Microwave ovens use microwaves to heat food, toasters use infrared waves to heat our toast, while televisions and cell phones use radio waves. All these are non-ionizing forms of radiation. Non-ionizing radiation has less energy and, under moderate exposure, does not harm us. Ionizing radiation, on the other hand, has much more energy and is powerful enough to knock electrons off of atoms. This causes the atom to become unbalanced and either positively or negatively charged. If an atom is unbalanced, it will throw off energy in an attempt to get its nucleus back into balance and stability. This process of expelling energy and transforming into different types of atoms to reach a balance is called radioactivity or radioactive decay. During the decay process, radioactive atoms give off three different types of radiation. One, alpha particles, two, beta particles, and three, gamma rays. Alpha particles are subatomic, which means smaller than an atom, but they are pretty big compared to the other types of radiation. This means that alpha particles do not travel very far, and in fact, cannot even get through a piece of paper. Beta particles are much smaller than alpha particles and therefore much less likely to collide with other atoms as they fly through space. They can travel much further than alpha particles and it takes several inches of plastic or a sheet of metal to stop them. The big difference between gamma rays and alpha and beta particles is that gamma rays are waves whereas alpha and beta particles are distinct particles. Gamma rays can travel long distances, and it takes several inches of solid lead to stop them. Radiation sources are found in a wide range of occupational settings. Time and effort must be spent to ensure that workers on hazardous waste sites are not exposed to harmful levels of radiation.